This video is about mushrooms, and I'm going to show you how to dehydrate mushrooms. Now, what I like to do is I buy the sliced mushrooms when they're on sale, like this. And then I just dump them on the tray, like that. And then what you do is you just spread them out so they're not on top of each other. And one thing you want to remember about mushrooms, whether they're whole or you have to cut them yourself, you want to make sure that your mushrooms are dry. If your mushrooms are wet, if you wash them and they're still wet and you cut them up and you put them in the dehydrator wet, they'll turn like a dark gray color. And the key to having them turn out nice and white is having them very dry when you put them on the tray. Okay, so what you do is you spread them all out like this, so they're not on top of each other, and then you put them in your dehydrator. Okay, this is what your mushrooms look like after they're dehydrated. Now, you'd want to put them in your dehydrator at about 120, 125. It takes approximately 8 to 10 hours for your mushrooms to look like this. And this is what the mushroom looked like before we dehydrated it. And this is what the mushroom looked like after we dehydrated So you can see there's a nice white color there because the mushrooms are nice and dry when I put them in the dehydrator. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rehydrate the mushrooms and I'm going to fry them up in a pan. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm putting them in a bowl and I'm going to dump boiling water over the top of them. And just like with the hash browns, you just don't, you want to make sure that the water isn't, um, they're not floating in water, that it's just about covering the top of them. Um, but you don't want them floating in there like soup, okay? And I'm going to let them set for about five minutes and I'm going to fry them up in a pan. Okay, it's been about five minutes and the mushrooms are rehydrated and I'm going to throw them in the pan. Okay, there are your fried mushrooms, and you want to remember that you salt your food after you're done cooking it. And um, here's a little vacuum pack. You can vacuum pack these with an oxygen pack inside it. And they're good for about 15 or more years, like this. Or you can put them in a jar like this and put them next to the stove so that when you're cooking, you can just grab a handful of mushrooms and throw it in whatever you're making. Now, you have to remember that when you're dehydrating your mushrooms, that you want to make sure your mushrooms are absolutely dry before you put them in the dehydrator or they will turn gray. And the other thing is when you're soaking them, you want to make sure that you soak your mushrooms five to ten minutes prior to cooking them. Unless, of course, you're throwing them in a soup or something, you just throw them right in. Um, it generally takes about um, eight to ten hours for the mushrooms to dehydrate. Not much longer than that. Enjoy your mushrooms.